ho, ho, come and know me better, man. <laughs> Welcome to our holiday fragrance special. And by our, you will see that I am joined by my beautiful festive sister. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm not a huge perfume person, but I love candles and I love Christmas and I love Christmas scents. So I'm excited to smell some holiday spirit today. That's exactly what we've got. We have a wide array. Um, we've really kind of tried to pick a mix of um, affordables, body sprays, perfumes. We've got some niche, um, even like a gift set here to talk about. So we're really excited about uh, the diverse group of festive fragrances we're going to be diving into. So with that, um, we are going to start with two body sprays. All right, starting out with this, this is Jilted Elf. This is a new offering from Lush. Um, I've covered Lush a little bit before. Mostly I'm a fan of them for their um, bath bombs, but they also have a range of perfumes and this is a body spray and it's new this year. And uh, Jilted Elf, it is a um, vegan. Um, so that's very important. They never do any of their testing on animals, all of their fragrance oils. They've got like a musk in here and that is a synthetic musk because they don't use any kind of actual animal musk. Um, this is a unisex offering from them and new this year. So we have tried these a bit. Yeah. Um, I don't love the bottle. It screams like cleaner to me, but I like that it's 100% recycled. So I'm going to let that slide. That's more important that it's recycled. It does have a good spray on it. So for as much as it's not like a cute for your vanity type of um, bottle, it does have a good spray on it. And yeah, it sprays a lot. And maybe it's like that if you were a man, you would appreciate that it doesn't really necessarily look like perfume. perfume. Yeah, that's for sure. Like if I was a guy buying this, I'd be more attracted to this and something like traditionally feminine. And for me, I did find, I thought it is unisex. It's truly unisex. Um, but I did find that I thought it leaned a little more uh, masculine in my mind that initially you get kind of a burst of cloves and spiciness and that dries down and it's more citrus. So oh. certainly a unisex um, in my mind. So I thought like, you know, who would wear this? <laughs> and not as a dig, anyone could wear it. But I mean, uh, I, I in my mind, I thought of like a fellow at his office party, his Christmas office party, and maybe he gets like a little tipsy on the mold cider. It's really delicious. <laughs> and then he wanders around with the mistletoe and, you know, tries to make a match there. So that, that was my thought. Um, I thought it came a little more feminine to me, but also still unisex, but a little more feminine. I got a very strong orange scent. Um, I was thinking like Florida Christmas party or like sitting inside on like a November day, drinking some tea. That's the kind of vibes I got from it. Yeah, so kind of a mixed experience there, but you'll definitely get that citrus. Um, and it's a body spray, it projects pretty well too. Really nice scent, I liked it. And then our next body spray is an offering from my sister. She brought it over here. This is Winter, can you see that up there? I know it's always check, I'll put it in the description. This is a Winter Candy Apple. It's a Bath and Body Works body spray. That's, that's my price range. <laughs> is very affordable and I know that this time of year too they throw the deals at you and the coupons um this one is uh the juice on it you can see it's this really pretty pink color yeah I and like it's the not color. the bottle it's actually the juice so just keep that in mind when you spray it comes out with a color yep and this one it has the apple for sure it, it's you know we just we just went from lush which uh, they only use like the natural ingredients and then this one's a little bit more synthetic um and we've a lot that. of ingredients I can't pronounce <laughs> in, most of in the ingredients we definitely both got that vibe. Um, you definitely get that um, apple, and there is a candy quality to it. Like that yeah. synthetic turns a little yeah, candy. Yeah, it's very subtle. But you definitely, it, it, the bottle is definitely, that's what it smells like. <laughs> we were very, very on the same page. So we smelled these things separately too, and then kind of compared notes after um, yeah. so that we wouldn't be um, repetitive or influence each other. We did have the same thoughts on this. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little weird. <laughs> So if you are a teen or a tween, a young person with a crush <laughs> and you're going out ice skating, you're going to the movies, yep. uh, you're going to want to coat you wanna yourself. You want to smell good for your class Christmas party, this is the scent for you. <laughs> it does scream very youthful, yeah. uh, it, but it's very bright, it's sweet, um, not too cloying, uh, good for the outdoors too. Yeah. This is definitely, yeah, when I was like, younger in my teens, I would. this is the kind of stuff that I would definitely wear. Yeah, it's certainly very affordable too. All right, so that is our body sprays. Um, we're gonna go next into a range of some local colognes, like lo shop local in the terms that it's a small business. All right, so this is, as I mentioned, shop local. Um, it's out of a company in Minnesota in the United States. Um, I think they do ship internationally though. I'll put the link in the description. When I was searching for holiday scents, uh, Santa's scents popped up, but I said, 
perfect, I'm there. And the other cool thing about them is um, I'm not usually a rollerball fan for, for something so specific, you know, like a holiday scent like this. It's good to have the option. And that's what I picked up here. They also do have full size bottles. Prices are really reasonable and it shipped. I mean, I'm not local to Minnesota, uh, but it shipped in a day. I was, I was dazzled by the yeah. shipping time. So a good combination of price um, and ship speed. And if you like those natural scents, um, they have a description of all the types of essential oils, um, cologne oils that they use on the website. So you can get a breakdown of what might be. They don't have the exact notes, but you can get a breakdown of the types of oils that they use. A lot of natural um, scents. And I picked three. So yeah, this is Mrs. C's Cookies. And you know, the bottle's simple. You can tell it like this is a small business, but it doesn't, it's, it's cute. It's a cute label. I like it. Um, I actually like the roll of balls. It's really like you're in a hurry. Just like, oh, I want to smell like something put on your wrist or whatever. This to me is very subtle. You definitely get a cookie scent. It's like, you don't want those extreme Mrs. Claus vibes. You want to smell vaguely Christmas. I think this is a good scent for you. Yeah, I agreed with that. It has, uh, I definitely get, get that cookie-ness, um but I would say it's more like an almond cookie than a sugar. Yeah. And the almond is very subtle, uh, but it has that nice, when that almond turns into like a little bit of a cherry note, that's what I'm getting out of this. And I like that. And it is, it would be something that'd be good, I think, to just bump up maybe another type of perfume or to layer underneath, I would say. It's more of a layerable one. The vibe I got from this was that like you're that Hallmark movie Christmas protagonist and maybe you've got like an almond scented shampoo. So you're just a sweet smelling lady generally. And now you're cooking in the kitchen, you're making Christmas cookies. And you actually know how to make cookies in this movie. Sometimes yes. you don't. <laughs> you're not the Christmas idiot. You're the one that's very skilled at Christmas and you just smell like a, a beautiful, sweet um, cookie there. So you well, you weren't a big fan, but you just like thought it was fun. I, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. It didn't, wasn't a strong enough scent for me. I need a stronger scent. <laughs> I wanna smell like cookies, I wanna commit. Our next one is, I'm just gonna see if you can see the label and see it there. Again, I'm posting links. This is Ginger Claws. This one, definitely if you smell it right out of the bottle, you get a lot of that ginger. It's very spicy. I like the smell of ginger. Ginger is a very Christmassy, like hearty scent to me. But when you wear it and you actually wear it, uh, that initial burst of ginger, it does dry down. It stays spicy, it stays clovey. I should have taken the lid off for you. All right but it dries down. Yeah, you definitely smell the ginger. It's not, again, it's not super strong to me, but you you smell it, it's there. It's like when you wanna smell like you've been baking, but you haven't. This one is very holiday to me too. Like yes. it definitely evokes Christmas, so. For sure. Of the ones that we've tried so far, this is the most like very specific Christmas scent in my mind. So I said, you know, who would wear this? <laughs> and I said, you know, a, a very Christmas uh, excited person. Um, the, you're the lady who on November 1st, everything changes over to Christmas, all the decorations go up. <laughs> you're the organizer of the office secret Santa and you get real annoyed with people when they half-ass it, half -ass it and bring in like gift cards. But maybe I'm that girl. Huh? I'm not saying <laughs> we got, anything. We got a guilty party over here. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't your favorite one. No, it was, like I said, I didn't dislike it. Yeah. I would like something a little stronger, but it definitely smelled like ginger. If you want a subtle ginger, I would recommend it. Want to show sure. your favorite? Yes, okay. my favorite. Um, it is called Coco Santa. Now I have Christmas is like I said, my favorite time of year for scents. I have a lot of Christmas candles that may or may not stay on my kitchen island all year long. Um, and one of them is a cocoa candle from a White Barn or Bath and Body Works, one of those places. And this scent smelled exactly like it. As soon as I put it on, I was like, oh my God, it's my candle. It smells exactly like cocoa. You're snuggled in a blanket. It's snowing outside. You're in a nice secluded cabin. The fireplace is on. You're just having a nice Christmas vibes all day long. This is a scent for you. I loved it. I'm going to wear this all the time. <laughs> and see, I struggle with, with cocoa scents. I really do. Um, very chocolatey. Yeah, it is very chocolatey. And it has like that dry um, cocoa powder, which is more what I like. Uh, this one... And it's not synthetic either. As I mentioned, they yeah. use all fragrance oil, so it's yeah. not a very synthetic, uh, but it's a very dry cocoa. I do get a sugar when I when it dries down, it, the cocoa fades back a little bit and I get more sugar with it. So I wrote down that I, it was like a, a teenager scent, like a, a scent for a teenager who's still pretending that they believe in Santa because they want the gifts. <laughs> I'm not a teenager. <laughs> I'm not a teenager though. 
So if you, the, so if you do, I said this was like, I stumbled upon it when I was researching for this video, but I can highly recommend if you are looking for like a cute stocking stuffer, um, for someone that is a big <laughs> Christmas fan, likes that holiday stuff or, you know, throw it in with that yeah. office secret Santa, I, I would recommend um, this small business of Santa sense. You go in someone's house, they have that Bath and Body Works candle I'm talking about, Coco, they would like this perfume. Maybe we'll link that in the description. Yeah. <laughs> So our last offering for our holiday special is this beautiful gift set from Penhaligans. So Penhaligans puts these out every year. I actually have one I got off Poshmark from a couple of years ago. So every year they reintroduce the tin. And the scents are not specifically holiday. So if you just want to sample Penhaligans or again, since it's a gift set, if you want to gift Penhaligans, they just come packaged in these adorable tins. How much does this retail for? They actually, it, this was pretty inexpensive. I want to say I paid uh, 50, between 50 and 60 um, American um, dollars for this. That's um, reasonable. And it's out of London, so obviously they do ship internationally as well too. Um, they did stay in stock. They've got a couple of other Christmas sets, but this is the one I picked out. The scents, first of all, they come in these like adorable ornament looking bottles i'm just gonna hold the them bottles are cute the tin is also beautiful and it does scream holiday to me they're like ornaments so it's really cute and as they have an assortment of penhaligans top sellers so it's not just for christmas you can wear these anytime yeah. um the only thing about them just to well go tell no, talk about the tin first and then i'll complain a little <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i love the tin it's super christmassy it's got like little candy canes on the front and little like candy cane vibes all around it's just, yeah, if someone opened it up on Christmas Day, they'd be excited to open it up. I, I, honestly, if I saw this tin, though, I would assume they had Christmas scents inside, and they're not, like she said. <laughs> it's a good size, too, so you could repurpose the tin. Yeah. So the only thing about these really adorable bottles is that if you, if you finish them, stick them on your tree, I think they would look really cute. Um, but they're, they're dabbers, which means, like, first of all, do not spill it all over the place, but yeah. um, you have to do the... Dip and dab. Yeah, I love that. I like the roll of I prefer a spray even for my samples. So that's the only thing. It's kind of hard sometimes to get a good vibe off a of perfume when it's in the dabbers. You just, yeah. that's how I find it. But the scents they give you, as I said, are their favorites. Um, and so you get a, a wide selection. They're also, they, they threw in some for ladies, some for men. Um, and I picked two. There's four in the set. It also has, oh, five There's in the five. set. Five in the set. So the, the three that I'm not going to talk about are Elizabethan Rose, Luna, and The Favorite, which yeah. are all great. I have positive things to say about them generally, um, but I only picked two to talk about for this Christmas video. So the first one I want to talk about is Impressa, which rumor has it the, the queen wears this one. I can't substantiate mm. that rumor. If you want to smell like royalty, I guess that's what you want to be wearing. This gets a lot of comparisons to Coco Mademoiselle which I don't like <laughs> and I re-gifted to my niece uh, but it is a, I know that is a great scent and people do like it I don't like it but I do like Impressa uh, it does have that feminine energy that citrus and I think it's like a, a muskiness to it maybe it's that patchouli that may, that kind of tie it to Coco Mademoiselle um, but I like it better I think it's just a little more regal and I and I thought it was regal before I heard the queen, the queen rumor I can see the queen wearing this <laughs> It's not like my favorite scent. Like, I'm not that I wouldn't wear it. It's just like nothing to, to me that screams, "Oh, I want to wear this." It's just, it's fine. She also favors gourmands. Too. I do. I like to smell like I came out of a kitchen. I don't know. But if I am going to tie it to Christmas because that's the theme of the video. So for me, Impressa is you know the master of Christmas. She owns the the holiday season. Martha Stewart can learn a thing or two from her. She's got one of those like three story Christmas trees and. The highest tree and the highest heels type of lady. Yeah, she's like the mom from the Hallmark movie that's like, why aren't you married yet? <laughs> Every room in my house is decorated for Christmas. I question. expect a man to come home with you. And speaking of the man, uh, I also picked one of the male scents here. This is How Fatty. How Fatty. Um, I had, again, been sampling this already. There's a flanker of this that's a plum leather flanker that I think is a new um, that I want to get for my husband, actually. I'm a big fan of it. The How Fatty itself is a woody, spicy, um, scent. I just like these. It's, it's funny because it's like mixing with the ginger one that I put on earlier. It's actually kind of a... a and that cocoa one is really strong. Yeah. I was smelling that one from forever after. I'm like, I can't. It's just cocoa. Mixing these together, honestly, is a mood. It's a, it's a really festive. That's where I get kind of giggly over here. But anyway, as far as how fatty, this is the, the master of ceremonies husband yeah. holding court in his library. He's got the gents with him. Yeah, he's um, drinking some bourbon. He's drinking some bourbon. Yeah, so he's yeah. in his woody library. Yeah, I like the scent. for. Uh, it's very masculine. I like it. I wouldn't be mad if my husband wore it. Yeah, it's, it's classy. It's a classy. Yeah. Yeah. 
go down to the Yacht Club with that scent, I think. So we have a nice mix here. We have got our affordables. We've got some vegan. We've got some synthetic. We've got some niche designer. So uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit to work with going into your Christmas festive season. All right, so which one are you vibing with? Oh, Coco. Coco Santa all day, every day. I'll wear this in summer. I don't care. I love it. <laughs> And I'm going to go get a little tipsy, walk around the office, try to get lucky. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this foray into holiday fragrances as much as we did. This was, was a lot of fun. Right? Yeah, for sure. I'd love to do it again sometime, maybe. Yeah. And if you want to do it again sometime, <laughs> please uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have a holiday scent that we didn't touch on that you recommend for the season, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please like it. If you enjoy all matter of fragrance content, please subscribe to Second is the Best. I upload whenever it strikes my fancy. Blind buys, reviews, weird one-offs like this. <laughs> that is all for this one. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Whatever you celebrate. <laughs> Winter solstice. Please enjoy and take care. Thanks a lot.